Welcome back. Tomorrow is a big day at Parliament. Finance Minister Pravin Godan is to present his budget for the next financial year to Parliament. But what do political parties expect from the budget? Lakit Zolo captured their comments on camera. Brazil sold 51% of their biggest airport last week to private investors and raised 70 billion rand um, through that sale. Freeze ministers and deputy ministers' salaries for the next three years and sent a strong signal to the unions, I'm in for business to keep that state wage bill under control. Freedom Plus are in favour of these infrastructure projects. We really believe it can make a difference. But then we must learn the lessons from the World Cup and those lessons work, bring in the private sector, have a partnership with the government. And... We must cut spending. Time and again, the minister made a statement and has not done it. It is especially those that have been raised in the uh, uh, growth path, such as uh, on tourism, mining, and the infrastructure development. We still have time left, so let's look at some of the statements made in Parliament. While mine workers go on strike for more pay in Northwest Province, the Minister of Energy has told Parliament that the mining sector is continuing to grow, resulting in more jobs. The minister said, despite the economic downturn, the sector passed the half a million mark in employment. Preliminary figures for 2010 indicate that the sector has continued growing in its employment with 15,000 net new jobs created between September 2010 and 2011. Honorable Deputy Speaker, South Africa is a developing rich history of social dialogue. It was part of this proud tradition that led to the establishment of the tripartite in the mining industry, which we refer to as Mining Industry Growth and Development Task Team, or MIGDET, that looked into the issues of arresting job losses and the future growth and labor absorption of the sector. Working through this structure, we developed a growth and competitive strategy for the mining sector. In terms of this, the sector committed itself to job creation, Job creation figures released recently are encouraging and indicate that we are on, the, on course slowly but surely to meet our goal. The growth and development of the mining industry cannot be delinked from addressing historically inequalities and imbalances in our society, especially in the mining industry. We have come a long way on issues of transformation this year we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the promalgamation of the Minerals and Petroleum Resource Development Act. Major challenges still lie ahead of government with regard to providing education to learners. During the past 10 years, more than a thousand new schools have been built. But the Minister of Basic Education told Parliament that the department still had a long way to go. We have almost 16,000 schools which don't have adequate admin blocks. We have more than 14,000 schools which don't have libraries. We have 18, 000, more than 18,000 schools which don't have labs. We have more than 13,000 schools which don't have computer centers. We have more than 4,000 schools which don't have sporting facilities. And I know the opposition, you tell them the facts, you say we don't have classes, they, they come back and say you don't have classes. You say we want to address infrastructure, you say you must address infrastructure. These are the facts, we're, giving, we're, denying, we're not denying them, we say we have to do it. We have an estimated shortfall of 64 classrooms. So don't come back to me and say, you have a shortfall of 64,000 classrooms. I'm saying we have a shortfall of 64,000 classrooms, which translates to more than 30,000 schools. And despite the fact that we have still a big number of schools built out entirely out of mud, we have conducted, as I say, it's not a court case, a study that has demonstrated the enormity of this challenge, but at the current rate and method of provision, our target can only be achieved in 20 years, and that's why we can't wait. And I welcome the president's intervention through the presidential infrastructure program and the inclusion of education as one of the progress, as one of the key levers that will help us to address this. Because at the rate and at the budgets we are going, we'll only be able to address this backlog. It doesn't matter how hard we work, in only in 20 years, and we can't wait. And that's why we know that this program is going to assist us. Meanwhile, the minister has insisted that the metric results of 2011 have shown an increase in the pass rate. She told Parliament that the 72% was a true reflection of the class of 2011. 
It is an achievement we should all welcome and be proud of as a serious nation truly committed to skills development and economic growth. Omar Lucy, which is the one which has authority, not anybody else, said the 2011 results were fair, valid, and credible. The Star newspaper itself says, through its experts, the papers were fair. So as much as we're concerned with medicine and science, but we also want to say we are making progress. And for the interest, for the interest of honorable members and people, I, must, I want to clarify the minimum requirements to obtain a national senior certificate. There are minimum, not mandatory, pass percentage for all learners to perform at a certain level. level. A sober comparison to most of the certificates that I think we all have in this country, as compared to the ones that were issued now, the senior certificate and the national senior certificate. For the new certificate, we require seven subjects to pass. In the past, we required six. A candidate in the past could pass with a converted pass of 25%. So I hear everybody screaming about 30. You'll find that half of even those who are screaming had have 25% as part of their certificate. So you used to pass with 25. We are saying the, the minimum for pass. To be admitted for a bachelor's degree, you need to pass in the new certificate a minimum of four subjects at 50% two subjects at least at 30%, and you must pass a home age at 30%. In the certificates that most of us and all the members were screaming about 30%, you needed only four subjects to pass to get a bachelor's degree at 40%. That we have changed. That's what we have changed. You all, no, 30%, that's what we all hold, because it was hiding under symbols that people, when they had F, they didn't know that they're containing 30%. That F was 30%, and half of the people, I think we have said have 30%. Order. After the break, we go back to President Zuma's reply to statements made during the State of the Nation address. Stay with us.